In the Berkshires, there's something called balancing rock. It's very strange. Uh, one of the great mysteries of New England, although it's probably just a stone left by the glaciers. Then in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, there's some stone anomalies as well. These ones, much different. Man-made. Who made them? The Winnipesaukee Mystery Stone is about four inches tall and two and a half inches around. It was found in a town in New Hampshire near, the, near Lake Winnipesaukee. Nobody knows of its origins and nobody knows what it was for. Pre-Christopher Columbus, uh, a number of Vikings came to America, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, and Leif Erikson was one of them. He even carved his name in a stone on Moffat's Vineyard. The stone's now sinking into the ocean, but translated it says Leif. Some of the greatest mysteries of New England are the giant's bones that have been found. The worst part is, of course, as usual, the Smithsonian Museum swoop, swoops in and takes the bones and hides them. But they've been found in Hartford, Connecticut, in Bath or Popham, Maine. And they've been found in New Hampshire and Massachusetts, Gosham, I believe, uh, all over the place. And these giants usually have double rows of teeth. They're known to the Native Americans as being cannibals, often have red hair. Jim Vieira is a great person to uh, reference when it comes to stone structures and giants. He's had TV shows on them. And these giants aren't like Bigfoot. Bigfoot is something completely different. The bone structure is totally different. Giants are also known to have six fingers and six toes, along with double rows of teeth, often red hair, and be cannibals. They've been found.